Oh shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's 14 episodes, right? There's 14 episodes, right? Netflix, Orange New Black, more episodes. That was the last one? I gotta wait a whole year. I can't wait a whole year. This is some bullshit. This, this ain't right. You can't leave me hanging like this. I'm gonna be miserable. A fucking year? What the fuck's gonna happen? You can't make me wait a whole year for this shit. This is... Oh, my fucking fuck. I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm. I'm fucking lost. And dizzy now. I, my feelings are confused, pissed. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. So that was my reaction to Season 4's finale of Orange is the New Black. Now, me personally, I think that show is great. The storyline, the backstories to all the characters, really draws you in. Even though you're not in jail, you still kind of relate to the characters' backstories. Some of the struggles and problems that they went through. Even though they're just characters and they're fictional, they're not real. It's, they do a really good job at making it kind of an emotional show and drawing people in. And I guess making it feel like you know the character. When I started recording... About 10 to 15 minutes left in the episode, and uh, that reaction was pretty much the very end scene and just what happened afterwards. Still kind of disappointed at the ending. Not in a bad way, but just the fact that I have to wait a whole fucking year to see what happens. I'm not going to say anything or explain much to give any spoilers out there for the people who haven't seen it. So besides me finishing Orange is New Black yesterday, something else kind of amazing happened. Well, amazing for me, probably not to you at all. I didn't touch a single video game yesterday. I know, crazy, right? Since pretty much all I do is go to work, come home, and play video games and edit videos. And for me to not touch a single video game yesterday is kind of, I guess, kind of relieving, I would say. But yeah, I didn't pop in Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, The Division, NHL. I didn't, I didn't pop in anything. I just sat there and watched videos all night and the reason i say it's kind of relieving is because i was ready to get off fucking work today and i was ready to come home and i was ready to kill some assholes in call of duty fucking jesus i don't know why i let this game do this to me or i don't know why i do this to myself i start playing i start doing good and then i get into that one match it just doesn't go my way and then it all goes downhill from there I start getting angry, I start getting hot, I start sweating, then I start yelling and screaming and cussing, sometimes throw shit. Look at that! What is that? If you've never seen The Orange is the New Black, and you judge somebody who watches The Orange is the New Black, give it a try. I guarantee you your opinion will change. It's that good of a show. Hell, I get made fun of for half the shit I do, but I don't care because... I like doing it, and I'm going to do it, because I'm going to like what I do. I'm not going to let somebody else try and control my life. If you like what you do, go ahead and do you. Don't do something because somebody else likes it, unless it's like your girlfriend or something. I didn't really realize I was going to give a confidence-boosting speech this video. And this is one of those fucking games that is not going my way. Yeah, fuck you, that's just a big ass metal finger right in your face, bitch. Yep, that's definitely gonna be the last game. 